everybody, welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of vlogging. My last vlog was pretty well received. Thank you to all of you that watched that. I really appreciate all the feedback and I do wanna try and get into vlogging a little bit more. Um, I think it's also nice just for me to watch back as well. It's kind of like a journal or a diary where you write things down, but instead I can look back and actually see what I'm doing. So uh, today my husband and I just have some errands to do. We have to get some groceries. We're also going to go to Indigo, which I don't think they have in the States, but it originally started off like a bookstore and now they have um, like a ton of homeware items. They have beauty items. They have wellness items. And so they're having a really big sale and I've already placed an online order, but I do want to go in store. And then I have to drop by my brothers. I'll see if I'm able to do that today. So outfit of the day, it's a little bit hard to see, but I have on this a black t-shirt. It is by Essential Sphere of God. I like it because it has a really high neckline. It's not too cold. It's uh, the beginning of October, but I think it's still about 15 degrees. So I have an oversized um, black t-shirt. I have on a pair of leggings from Aritzia and then this blazer is also by Aritzia. It is the new agency blazer and then I'm going to be carrying my Loewe um, puzzle bag which you know I love. And my jewelry up close I am wearing my idol studs. These are my earrings from Amazon that I love. I'll have my Amazon storefront uh, linked down below so you can check them out but they're these really fat hoops and I think they were under $20 and then my necklace so this one is by oh my goodness I can't remember uh, Maria Black I believe I got it off Essence uh, I wear this one almost every day it is so it just goes with everything you can layer multiple necklaces and make a really nice stack and then this pendant is from Monica Benader and then this is P.D. Paola, my ring, and then I'm wearing my Case to Fi watch, which I have been wearing this constantly, and I, just because I like to track how many steps I take in at work, but I have not got any eczema from wearing this because it doesn't move around, and so water can't get caught in it, like that, um, like my traditional, the Apple band that I got when I originally bought this, so I love this one, and it just, it amps it up. And since we are talking about Casetify, I also want to show you, I have a new phone case. This is the new Impact Ring Stand case. So they currently only make this for the iPhone 15, but they're gonna be coming out with um, some for other models as well. But I want to show you because it's so cool because it has a stand there. I don't know if you can see it. Hopefully you can. So this is a better view. As you can see, there's a lifted camera ring, but it has this built-in stand. And this stand can move and it's adjustable from zero to 150 degrees. Uh, it still offers the same protection. So that 6.6 .6 foot drop protection, it's also MagSafe compatible too. Um, but it just makes it so easy for hands-free watching. So I have the iPhone 14 Pro and it does fit on. I mean, it's not a perfect fit. It's a gaping a little bit there, but um, like I said, they are planning on coming out with more. Um, so what I like to do is, maybe I have to move you down so you can actually see this now. This is a better view and you can see it has this little kickstand there so your phone just stays propped up. Other ways I like to use the Impact Ring Stand case is for a workout. So if I'm doing a home workout, whether it's yoga or stretching or meditation, I can just prop this up like that and I don't need to sort of look down all the time at my phone because at that point I tend to get migraines and it's just a lot of stress and strain like that. So it's just easy to prop it up and look at um, whatever stretch or whatever workout I'm doing at the moment or how I like to use it at night is when I'm sort of settling down and I'm editing a video or say I'm watching a Netflix, um, like my favorite show, like Office, I love The Office, but I'm also FaceTiming, then I can just prop this up too. I talk to my mom quite often, so um, I always keep my phone around. I generally don't like to use my iPad as much just in case I do get a call, it's easier to answer on this. So I like just having this on the side if I'm FaceTiming someone, whether it's like I said, my mom or my cousin or a friend or something like that. And then I can just sort of type and do my work on the computer too. And I don't need to worry about the FaceTime on my laptop and trying to go in between the two. As I mentioned before, they are gonna be coming out with these impact ring stand cases for a lot of different models. So definitely go and check 
check out Casetify. Click the link in my description box. I will also leave it here and you can go and check out all of my Casetify picks as well as I have a discount code for you there so you can save 15% off your order. Thank you to Casetify for sending me these cool new cases. They have been a lifesaver, like I said, in the morning when I just wanna drink my coffee and get ready for work and I just wanna watch my show, these are perfect. So now I think we're ready to go. Like I said, I have my La Hueve bag packed. Um, I'll show you really quickly what I have in there. I have my La Hueve puzzle card holder, which I've been loving. I have my Louis Vuitton clay with all my coins. I have my Gucci key pouch that has my Patrick Ta lip gloss. I also have a perfume in there and then my car key. This thing is so small but it holds so much. And then I have my Summer Fridays lip balm and then I have another. <laughs> this one's Vanilla Extreme. This one's my favorite. I've been wearing it for years. And then I just threw in a new package of these icebreaker mitts which are my favorite. Um, I have hand sanitizer and I think an old Starbucks gift card in there that I obviously need to throw away and I'm gonna throw my car keys in there So we are ready to go and we will see you at our first stop I don't know where we're gonna go first I think it's Costco and I'm really afraid because it is the weekend and Costco is probably gonna be so busy Strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, yeah dark look really good. Let me know if you guys have ever tried them. Karen's Bakery Danish Puff Pastry. Chocolate and hazelnut, cinnamon, vanilla. So cheap. It's all with the Christmas stuff, like all the panettone is out now. So this is Robson Street. If you are ever in Vancouver, you need to come here. There's a giant Aritzia up the street. There's Sephora. Pacific Center is just around. There's Astro. And that's Indigo. That's where we're going right now. So unfortunately, while I was editing, I realized there was music playing in the background and I don't want to get a copyright strike, but you can see there's lots of different things. There's Caraway products. Um, I also got my Perfect Pot and my Always Pan from Indigo and they were on a really good discount. This is a really empty area of the store. And then I saw the Alessi kettle that I came here for. It's the Plisse line. I had picked up one of the hand mixers in the summer and I really wanted to get the matte black kettle. And I was also contemplating getting the toaster as well because it was 30% off plus an additional 10% off, but I just ended up getting the toaster or the kettle. And then here is the beauty and wellness side. They have a lot of different products. Um, I was looking specifically at the PSA products, which is the sister company to Allies of Skin. There's Andrew being very patient. And then um, all the products again were 30% off plus an additional 10% percent off so I did pick up quite a few items from them I'll be showing them in an upcoming haul but um, they have a lot of branded products and products that you can't typically find here in Canada only in the states and then I also picked up some linen pieces so these are pajama sets but I'm planning to wear them more casually in the summer maybe over top of a bathing suit or a tank top but they were 50% off and then additional 30 and 10%. Okay, so we just left Indigo. It is close to two, so we're now fairly hungry. I think we're gonna go get a banh mi. I somehow spent, was it two, it's $370. $370 at Indigo. Um, but everything was on sale except for his book. On the Canadian so. Constitution. <laughs> So I feel like it was a good deal because everything was clearance and then an additional 40% off. So I'll show you everything when you get we get home, but it is really warm now. It's six, 17 degrees. It's such a beautiful day in Vancouver. You should see how busy it is. It is packed along Robson Street. And then we just passed Prada and then we have Hermes to our right and then 
Louis Vuitton just straight in front of us. Oh no, there's Cartier and then Hermes, I believe, is beside it. And then Tiffany and Co. So it's a very, this is the very bougie part of Vancouver, I would say. There's Hermes right there. And then over here is Dior. I'm gonna stop at Starbucks first because we need some more caffeine. For any of you out there who are uh, concerned in respect to good sleep, try not to drink Hi, coffee or you. caffeine products Hi, may I please get past a 12, grande, no later than uh, two brown sugar because of the half life of caffeine. Espresso with light ice. Yeah, absolutely. And then may I also get a uh, triple over ice with the salted caramel cold foam in a grande cup. It's a park right next to the banh mi shop and we like to come here and eat it. Like, this is the size of it. I guess it's similar to Subway, but it has all the Vietnamese vegetables and I like it because they put vermicelli inside. So yummy. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So it's pretty late now. It is about 8.30 and we are just going to eat. Um, I was just editing a video up until now and like I said, I showered skincare, everything like that. We did get Halal Guys. So that just recently opened in Vancouver. So let me show you really quickly if you're not familiar with Halal Guys. We like to get the falafel bowl. There's so much on it. We always ask for extra tomatoes, lettuce. Um, I get jalapenos, olives, lots of uh, onion and bell peppers. And then comes with this sauce. I don't really like to add a ton of this. This is, if you look at the nutritionals on the back, it's crazy, it's like 340 calories. And then this hot sauce is the spiciest hot sauce I've ever tried in my life. And I can handle hot food really well, um, but this destroys me. So this is our dinner and then we'll probably just watch a show on Netflix and then I have to finish editing. All right, it is the next day now. Uh, yesterday, all we did was we ate, which I showed you our dinner and then we just watched a couple shows on Netflix and that was basically it. And then this morning I was just doing a lot of work um, or prepping for work. And then I was also editing this video just to see how much footage I had. Right now it is two o'clock. I have an appointment at 2.15. I'm already here. I'm just waiting. But uh, it is, I don't know if I'll even insert this just because I don't think it's a controversial topic. I just don't want people to feel pressure to do this or I don't even know it's just weird but I'm getting Botox I squint because I can't see <laughs> my eyes are really bad so I just don't want those lines with me constantly making that motion to kind of settle I don't think they're there like when my face is just normal and then these now I don't I don't know I'm just trying to do the whole preventative thing so that is what is going on so i have my appointment like i said i'm gonna go in and see um what he suggests but i want to get the minimal amount botox can be pretty expensive and depending on your body and your metabolism it can last for like three to six months is what i've heard so i just i don't want to have to get a ton of it because it's expensive but um Anyway, we'll see what he suggests, but that is what I'm doing now. It's also good to make it brown, and then do the same thing in about two weeks. See how much oh, okay. And this one is all three. These are no. three. Yeah. And this is all th all three. All twos. All twos. These are all twos. These are all threes. Okay. So you have one, two, three, four, five. This is 15 units. Mm -hmm. Here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven times two, 14 units. Okay. Will it swell up at all tomorrow? You're or? gonna get a little bit of redness and swelling, yeah. Okay. And 
The redness will go away after one hour. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I can put a head off. Okay. And then my forehead, I don't have any swelling or bumps. He did mention that that could happen within the first, I think, hour or two hours, but um, the clinic that I went to was called the Richmond Cosmetic Clinic. I'll leave all the information down below. I believe his name is Dr. Sahi, if I'm pronouncing it right. He's double board certified, so in Canada, US. Uh, amazing, he was a wealth of knowledge, didn't pressure me. Um, went through, spent quite a bit of time during the consultation just telling me, you know, if he put the Botox here, it might, I might see a little bit of raise and if I want to like raise the side, I don't know, he was going on and then he made me do the tear, I think it was called the tear, something here and he said I don't have any. Um, he said that was really good and then I don't have any wrinkles here or he made me smile so he wanted to see if I had any crow's feet and he said I have no crow's feet so he said I have really good skin which was obviously nice to hear. I am so tired. I ended up going down to Indigo and Robson. Robson was busier than when it was yesterday. I think everyone was thinking like me. They're like, oh, it's raining. No one will be downtown. Everyone was downtown. It was packed. So I just exchanged for medium and then I saw this. <laughs> it's a coverlet. It's kind of like a crinkled throw, sort of like that muslin material. Um, it's coming up brighter. The color is terracotta, so it's that sort of rich orangey red. And I thought moving into fall for the bed, this will be nice on it. So um, anyway, <laughs> apparently I am an addiction to buying stuff. It was regular $99.50 with taxes and everything with a discount. I think I paid $36. So pretty inexpensive. I was just in a plain, I have lint on me everywhere, um, plain oversized black, I think it's from TNA hoodie. And then the bag that I used today was my Le Mer croissant. I love this. If you are on the fence about it, get it. It is just honestly the perfect kind of easy grab and go sling bag. I love it. It is still one of my favorites. The leather is so nice, so comfortable to wear holds all the essentials. I really like the green that they came out with this, but I don't need to buy it. I'm just gonna make dinner now, so I don't think I'm gonna vlog that just because I'm tired and I probably have enough footage now with the Botox. So anyway, I thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.